Jetzt auch mal los. Hello, I'm Yusef and this is Bugface, where the world's weirdest creepy crawlies prowl and frolic across your favourite faces. This is today's crucial creature, ready to give a frightening facial to Michael Rice. Michael is a singing sensation and has represented the UK in the Eurovision Song Contest. No stranger to doing daring things on camera, he's also appeared on X Factor. Michael's natural habitat is Hartlepool in Northern England, running a business making waffles and milkshakes. Let's hope he waffles more and shakes less when he meets today's gruesome bug. Say hello to Heteropteryx dilatata, or as we know them, Malayan jungle nymphs, from the country of Malaysia in Southeast Asia. Di is the female and the heaviest stick insect in the world. But let's see if Di thinks Michael Rice is nice. Welcome to the Bug Snug, Michael. Thank you. I'm excited. Well, there's no bugs where I come from. No. No. <laughs> there is here. Oh, God. <laughs> so get comfy, make yourself yes. at home. So with all the shows that you've done, yeah. I'm sure you, you're pretty used to being in some pretty terrifying situations. This one's totally different. I get really, like, scared when it comes to bugs. Okay. So this is totally new for me. And are there any bugs that you really don't want us to put on your face? Honestly, I'm so scared of spiders. Like, spiders, the legs, everything about a spider um, just really makes me, like, shiver. Um, and also cockroaches, really? just like the look of them. So what would you do if there was a cockroach and a spider in this box? Oh, I would absolutely die. Like, <laughs> honestly, I'd be so nervous, like so scared if there was. Okay, Michael, it's time to meet Terry Whoa. and Di and their daughter. There's three of them. Three of them in here. Three of them aren't going on my face though. What do you think to them? They look like plants. So these guys are Malayan jungle nymphs. The scientific name is Heteropteryx dilatata. What do you I think? I think I would have preferred a spider. Really? <laughs> or a cockroach. So we've got three different bugs in here. Yeah. They're, they're all the same species. So we've got some green ones and a brown one. The males and females look different. Yeah. So which do you think's male and which do you think's female? I think the green one is the male. Other way around. Other way around? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the big green ones are actually the females. Yeah. And then the little ones are the males. Whoa, look at the spikes on the legs as well. Will that hurt my face? Possibly, actually. This is yeah. a good point. We should do a little bit of a safety briefing. They have a defense mechanism where they put their bums in the air and their legs out. And then if you put your finger or anything in between, they'll snap those oh. legs together and it could, it could be very painful. Also, another bit of a safety warning, they could poo on your face. Another thing we've got to tell you about is, um, can you see on the end of their feet there, they've got those claws? Yeah. Uh, they're called tarsi uh, and they're really sharp. So we do have to be a little bit careful because you'll, you'll feel that on your face. It will feel quite uncomfortable. But it shouldn't break your skin. Okay. Are you cool with all that? Yeah, I think so. Brilliant. I think I'm ready. Well, that means we just have to get you to sign this. So a little form for you in case they tear your face off. Thank you there very you much. Oh no, what have I signed myself up for? It's time to put the bug on your mug and let nature take its course. Are you ready for this, Michael? No, <laughs> I am really. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got some facts about Di on the screen above you. You've got to read them all nice and slowly and clearly. And the moment you get through them all, Di can come off your face and you get to win your very own legendary BBC Ad Kids bug face mug. It sounds so good, sounds good. but this sounds so scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to infest your face. And whenever you're ready, can we hear that first fact, please? Terry is thin and spindly and boring brown, but the females are huge and stocky in a gorgeous bright green colour. Do you think she looks pretty gorgeous? I can feel the spikes. Okay, and let's hear another fact, please. If I were Terry, I wouldn't mess with the female, as she's covered in numerous sharp spines, way more than the male. <laughs> can you feel all those sharp spines? I can feel it, I can feel it. Are they painful? No, right. they're not painful. Good, good. Can we hear that next fact, please? She can reach a whopping 15 centimetres long and weigh around 65 grams, far heavier than a skinnier male and any other stick insect. Does she feel pretty heavy on your face? It's ticklish. Ticklish. <laughs> okay, go for it. Only the male of the species can fly, as the females are too heavy for their wings to bear their weight. Oh, he's much smaller and thinner, 10 centimetres in length. He's crawling down my body. <laughs> back on your forehead now. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, if you can sing the facts, that would be amazing. 
She is one of the longest lived of the different puzzlements. That is sticking sex. And could reach a second birthday. Oh, it's on my chin. It's on my chin. Oh, it's on my face. That's it, so it's, it's phasmids. <laughs> Don't forget what's at stake here, Michael. The mug. The mug. <laughs> the legendary BBC Earth Kids bug face mug. Can we hear that next fact, please, Michael? When the female feels threatened, she stands on her four legs while keeping her hind legs and belly in the air. If you touch it, she fiercely snaps her back legs together and remembers these have sharp spines. Let's hope she doesn't feel threatened. Adult females use their mini wings to make a loud rustling noise when showing her defense behavior. All of this in my mouth, all this display is mental to scare off predators. Can you make that wrestling noise? <laughs> no, basically. <laughs> I can't make okay. that wrestling noise. Can we hear the next fact, please? They like to munch on blackberry, raspberry, rose, and ivy leaves. I like those too, but not ivy. She's definitely feeling very lively. Yeah, she's a wriggler, for sure. Okay, take us away with the next fact, please, Michael. The female is certainly a record holder. She holds the world's world. <laughs> she holds the world record for the largest egg laid by any insect. Very That's impressive. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> okay, can we hear the final fact, please, Michael? If I can see, it's on my nose. Ah! These eggs can take up to 10 years to hatch, sometimes as long as 15 months before they emerge. As a new nymph, that's great. Get it off, get it off. I'm afraid that's incorrect. Can you read it again, oh, please? Not again. These eggs can take up to a year to hatch, sometimes as long as 15 months before they emerge. As a new nymph, that's great. Get it off, get, get it off, okay. <laughs> get it off. I will take die off you now. You've done really, really well, though. <sighs> How was that experience for you, Michael? That was so nerve-wracking. Yeah. Like, having it on my face and feeling it move was, like, mm -hmm. surreal. Like, honestly, this might have been the best experience for me to actually get into, like, seeing these and, like, actually knowing facts about the insects, that's really, good. yeah. So you enjoyed it, then? Yeah, I think I really oh, I did enjoy it. What, what was the sensation like when Dai was walking across your face? Well, it was very, like, ticklish. Um, and I could feel like the little spikes on my face, mm -hmm. kind of like in my skin, kind of thing. And then when it ran down my face on my neck, yeah. I was like, ooh. <laughs> and what was the worst part about the experience? Well, I, when it ran down my neck, I thought it was going to go down my t-shirt, <laughs> but I remained calm. Um, I did remain calm. I was really like excited to like see what, and I mean, feel, yeah, feel it on yeah. my face, really. It's got really good camouflage, yeah. isn't it? And how did that experience compare to a singing gig? This is totally different. Like singing and performing is like my thing, but having insects on my face is a total different thing for me. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed the, the experience that's really, good, but good. I was, I don't think I'd do it again. No, sure? I, don't, I won't do it again. We'll get you some different bugs. <laughs> yeah. So congratulations Di on making it through bug face and thank you for exploring Michael's mush. And thank you, Michael, for coming along. Oh, you thank did you for having me. Awesome. Thank you. And you get to win your very own legendary, yes, BBC Art Kids Bug Face Mode. What is that? This is literally how I feel right now. Broken. Don't forget you can see all of our bug faces plus loads more on the BBC Earth Kids channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next bug face. Thanks for watching. Come back soon!